Hi guys, welcome to this week's uh, Last Week in Gaming. Um, I'd like to preface this week uh, by saying something, actually. Um, we obviously have changed our format a little bit, uh, and so we are now delivering your news to you in one slightly shorter compacted video uh, where you're going to get all of last week's best news in case you didn't have time to see it. We would really love it if you guys tell us in the comments down below what you think of the new format. Uh, would you like to see something change? Do you prefer it over the old format? Did you prefer the old format? You know, just let us know what you guys think down in the comments below um, because we love to hear from you guys and we absolutely love to know what you guys think. On that, welcome to this week's last week in gaming. I almost said this week in gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. Um, so this week, um, or rather <laughs> last week, um, Konami announced that they're going to be releasing a new Metal Gear game. Oh god, why? Metal Gear 6? <laughs> Metal Gear? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well done, Chipolin. Thank you. Um, it's called Metal Gear Survive. Don't tell me this is a four-player cooperative zombie killing game. It might be. Uh, <laughs> it might be because you already know. Uh, yeah, it's uh, described by Konami as a co-op survival game. With zombies. With zombies. In an alternate universe. Uh, it's set straight after... Uh, Left 4 Dead 2? <laughs> <laughs> right after uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 story ended. Yeah. Right okay. after Ground Zero. In an alternate, alternate universe. universe. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. Um, it picks up from the ending uh, to an alternate timeline caused by unexplained wormholes forming in the sky. God, Wait, it's like painful they, where, to read. Weren't there workbooks in Metal Gear at some point? There's like supernatural. There's, slash there's, a, there's a lot of supernatural shit going on enough that I would say it's like science, wormholes totally legit. Yeah, it's like science fictiony. I feel like Metal it's Gear has been science fiction sort of. and like on the edge of like fantasy. Um, kind of right. So you got Psycho Mantis, and yeah. you've got like these people with. Powers and powers. So you like to play Castlevania? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the These the uh, the answer from everybody on the internet so far has been, oh God, why? The oh, answer from no. everyone on the internet is that GIF of Snake just going and just switches chain and he's burning. Like I don't even understand where this GIF is coming from, but I approve. <laughs> yeah. So essentially, um, in a struggle to stay alive on this harsh terrain filled with deadly creatures. Zombies. I, oh, I thought you were talking about Konami. <laughs> it's funny, I thought you were talking about Konami too. <laughs> I missed this. <laughs> uh, soldiers who were previously on Mother Base must now work cooperatively in order to survive. Metal Gear Survive continues the pedigree of Metal Gear Solid 5's highly praised gameplay design with a unique blend of stealth and co-op play mechanics. So it's the same game. It sounds like it's the same game. It's just new gameplay. It's a four-player co-op game. Players can strategically manage massive threats with the help of four-player online cooperative play. New weaponry will also be introduced to combat charging creatures and lethal environments as well. I sounds like uh, sounds like Resident Evil. It sounds like Left 4 Dead. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like Left 4 Dead meets Resident Evil. <laughs> You know what's funny too? Um, we all remember how Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes and 5 looked like fantastic. Sure. Like details were... They still do. <sighs> well, yeah, obviously. But when I saw the trailer for this game, I was like, these graphics look shitty. Compared to... That's because they're not putting... You know, a big reason of... I think a big part of the reason of them getting rid of... of um, Kojima was that they were enablers. Konami enabled him essentially, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, have more money, make us another hit." And then they kept having to do it all the time because he was like, "Yeah, you're gonna give me more money, sure, give me more money. Mm -hmm. I, I need more money for this, and we could do this badass thing if you give us more money." Yeah, they're like, "Okay, no problem. That badass thing sounds badass. Do it." And they screwed themselves over. I'm not taking Konami's side, but I'm just saying it was both parties' fault. Is what I'm saying. And I think that um, without him, they're cutting significantly their budget. Yeah. So we're never going to get games as, as as beautiful and breathtaking as as the as the Metal Gear games. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We will, but it's going to be from him. It's probably going to be from Kojima. From Kojima. Yeah, from yeah. Kojima. So in in slightly confusingly interesting news. Slightly uh, confusingly interesting. interesting. You know what Assassin's Creed movie? 
Yeah. Yes, yeah. the one that nobody's really sure what to expect. Yeah, well, they did something really cool uh, recently. I is heard. Um, they reveal the making of one of the most, I would dare say, uh, daringly. Uh, one of the highest, highest free fall, fall jump yeah. in the past 30 odd years. Yeah, of a stunt. Of stunt How many feet are we talking? We're 100, talking about 120. There you go, 120 feet. 120 feet. So 120 feet jump. And it was not CG. It was not CG. Was and they even said in the video that we can't play because it's probably going to get copyrighted by Ubisoft. But usually they would take a 3D model for that. But the stunt double absolutely wanted to do it. I actually saw because the video. there's no like even if it's 3D, it could be super well made. You know when it's 3D, like you know it, you feel it, yeah. your eye can see it. Yeah. But having a legitimate stunt double leaping 120 feet, you can't fake that. And it's a literal, it's a literal leap of faith. Like it goes like, like in the game. It goes like that, and then just <laughs> yeah, there was, there was the eagle. I kid you not. Like he just goes around and then he lands. Fine, he's fine. He was very happy to land and be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty Did he sure. land in a pile of hay? No, in a no, giant infla uh, yeah, inflatable giant pillow. Giant green inflatable pillow. Blue, yes. actually. Blue. Yeah. It's okay. Let's keep in mind that the, most of the industry uses blue. I think film industry, they use a lot of blue. They do. That's true. They, I think they use more blue than green. I don't know. Depends. It depends on what. It probably depends on the colors, right? They yeah. use for the... For, for yeah, it depends on the scenery and stuff. Right? Yeah. So. Well, that was cool. Good on them for using practical effects rather than CGI. I, th I think it's honestly, it might be an encouraging. I uh, still don't know about Fastbender, but uh, I like him. I I like him too, but I don't know if I like him as an assassin. We'll see when it remains to be out. seen. It remains to be seen. Uh, we still don't know enough about it to be excited or, or discouraged. So you know, until then, um, uh, this is encouraging though. Let's stay cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Next time in. Hollywood fails at making video games, movies. Yeah. So, guys, more news about Pokemon Go. Yeah. <laughs> There's always news about Pokemon Go. There's always news about Pokemon Go. This time, not good. You know what? It's been getting less and less good for Yes, them. it has. But has it ever been class action lawsuit bad? Oh, crap. What did they do this time? <laughs> <laughs> I think well, I know this what they time did. it is. It's not what they did so much as it is people, people complaining. Complain. So a couple uh, are filing a class action lawsuit against America. Niantic. Yeah, America, obviously from America, <laughs> because they are tired of having people coming onto their private property, and they want Niantic to stop having Pokemon spawn on their lawn. Get off! My damn lawn, Pikachu, Ooh, damn kids. Like really, I mean, okay, it is never good to trespass. No. Like I don't care if there's a fucking Pikachu or Mewtwo on somebody's lawn. If Mewtwo, it's not gonna happen. But can, can can we be fair here? And and it's just like it doesn't matter if a Pikachu is on your lawn. No, because, because you, you have can like, catch it from the other side of the street if you want. Yeah, pretty much. There's like but what, you know, a the, 10, you know how far the, the human stupidity goes. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you from experience, like there's people in Bolivia, like the police actually had to release a statement saying, don't go into people's houses. <laughs> because people are breaking into people's houses to try to find Pokemon. Like for real, in Bolivia. I'm not even kidding. People are fucking stupid, the pardon fuck my Bolivia? language, but like, what the hell guys? <laughs> what the fuck, Bolivia? <laughs> I need to get close. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Uh, yeah, Niantic has not responded as of this article. Oh, obviously uh, not. Because I mean, as legal stuff, you can't you can't just go talking about that. No, but I mean, like. But did they ever talk about? And it, also, they're just kind of like face palm. <laughs> <laughs> More likely than not. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Pokemon. Like, the, I feel the world was not ready for Pokemon Go, as no. Alex would say, because people are just plain stupid. Oh, Alex um, said. Alex, Alex everybody. said, yeah, that the planet is not ready for Pokemon no. Go. Humanity and, is not ready for Pokemon and Go. And like now, when you log, whenever you log into the game, you get a notification like, don't, don't, don't trespass, don't, don't trespass, don't play while driving. If it, if like, no, if it catches that you're, uh, if your location is faster than like X amount of kilometers or miles it tells per you, hour, hey, 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 are you a driver or a passenger? I'm a passenger, and you have to press a button. Exactly. You know what? They should just make a. They just should change all their all their warnings and and put something like natural selection. 
<laughs> Pokemon Go is the natural selection app. Yeah. So we don't need them to do that. They already know. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <sighs> oh well, I guess people are gonna class act. I mean, probably. Yeah. I would. Okay, I, I do have to say though, there are a couple of places where I think they should not spawn Pokemon. Yeah. Like the uh, uh, Aush no, not Auschwitz. The Holocaust Museum. The Holocaust Museum. But they did fix and that. And Hiroshima Bombing Memorial. Yeah. They, also fixed that. they fixed those. They did, thankfully. Well, I mean, you know, it's you have to, because the way that their app does it, it populates the Earth automatically. So okay. Obviously, there might be some stuff that's inappropriate, so you need to let them know. Yeah, you know, so there's mean? a lot of places around the world that are like you should shouldn't go there to just like oh, on your cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And obviously, no, neither Niantic or Nintendo can know like every single one of these places. We need so. to stop saying Nintendo. Nintendo has nothing to do with Pokemon Go. Niantic, yeah. apart from allowing Niantic to have the the IP True. as a as a license, right, and taking eighty percent of their money. No, that's the Pokemon Company, which is not Nintendo. Oh. It's the Pokemon Company and Niantic. The more you know. Nintendo's just a publisher. There you go. Okay, then twenty percent of their money. Mind blown. The more you know, guys. More Overwatch news from last week. Um, <laughs> funny Overwatch news. And you know, I feel like Overwatch can do no wrong. Like Blizzard is doing a great job with Overwatch. I think it needs to be said. They're doing great PR wise. They're doing great for giving like a bunch of character aesthetics and like images for cosplayers. Yeah. They've even managed to make players like Bastion kind of a little bit. Oh my god, that freaking, that animation. Yep. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna repeat something that someone said on Facebook, is that that is the kind of animation that is like kind of award-winning, like short animation award-winning quality. 100%. It is. I it, totally agree. It made me feel for a machine that's in like 3D. It's like the poor guy has PTSD, man. He does. I still won't forget Bastion for like team killing while just sitting in the corner and just going like, no. So, um... <laughs> I play Bastion. <laughs> I, I play Bastion. I play Bastion too. Um, <laughs> so what's the good news? The, the, funny news. The, the funny news is that they've replaced the very popular GG Easy. Uh huh. Right. Which, which is, is kind of insulting, and you're a sore winner. Uh, it's just kind of a lol, you suck kind of thing, right? Yeah. They've replaced it with embarrassing expressions. Ooh. Um, some of them are, "Come on, mom, one more game before you tuck me in." The other one is, <laughs> "Good game. Best luck to you all." Another one is, I feel very, very small. Please hold me. <laughs> There's another one, it's, it was an honor to play with you all. Thank you. Another one says, Mommy says people my age shouldn't suck at games. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's what it said. I don't know, the list is moving very quickly. Yeah, it's a give. Mommy, oh, shouldn't suck their thumbs. There you uh, go. <laughs> yeah, so you get the idea. And There's like a bunch of them. Um... People shouldn't be saying GG easy. Come on, have a good have have a good sports spirit. Just, <coughs> even when I rage at a game like recently Overwatch, I'm like, oh god, my team sucks. I'm so like GG at the end of the game. Good yeah, it's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> that, is one, that is one of the things that I like. I love, for example, in Heroes of the Storm, is that you don't have an all chat. You can only chat with people who are on your team. That helps. And most of the time, people in your team are like generally civilized. <laughs> Usually. Usually. Sometimes. There's always going to be a bad apple. Yeah, there's always, always going to be. Always. Like, but yeah. so this is the kind of thing that's... Troll the trolls. Yeah, troll it's great. Trolls. I, I like it's it. Great. It's funny, it's simple. There's only one it. problem with that, is that it kind of generated some sort of backlash. As oh. in people who, after this happened, people were just sitting on, on, on matches. They would start a match and just sit. Okay, like, you get walk, booted. Walk around, like, yeah. Walk around a little bit and then just sit on your base. Like sit on your base, not like sit, sit, you know? Okay, it's gonna last a grand total of a week and then people are gonna get over it and they're gonna keep playing. Do, do you hear that? This it's the world's small, smallest, smallest violin. violin. Yeah. We're concluding this we're week's concluding last week game. With a small, small article, but that's very close to my heart and I'm very happy. New Why is it dark so close to your heart? Because I, it, it's he has dark a dark, soul. dark, I have black a dark, heart. I have a dark soul. I, I would assume he was. He doesn't, <laughs> I have a I dark would, soul. I would assume he doesn't have a heart. You have to give that to him. He has a dark soul. Okay, I'll give it to him. Thank you. Um, so, Dark Soul 3 is getting its first DLC. 
Uh, so that's going to include obviously new gear, new weapons, a new map, new bosses, uh, new ways to make you cry at yourself at sleep at night. It is Dark Souls. It is Dark Souls. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's uh, I'm happy about it because I love Dark Souls. Uh, usually, all the Souls games have good DLC. Usually, not not always, but usually it's. Like a new chapter that is excessively hard. Okay. Like like Witcher S. Like life DLC. Like the reason yeah. I say Witcher S is because Witcher DLC is was fantastic. I think it's the standard that all DLC should be held to. I don't know. If I think that did. I, I think not that yes because I trust you enough, but I haven't played them yet. I think oh, that every single finished. game should be held at the same standard. As I've officially I hadn't played either, but I have both. Because I had the, 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 the expansion pass with yeah. the digital version, and just the base game. I just reinstalled it so that I could. There you go. So I could play them. There you go. Just totally worth it. First major piece of DLC. Um, I mean, Dark Souls 3 got positive reviews pretty much everywhere, I think. Uh, it was really well polished. Uh, beautiful. It was still like super mysterious, like didn't all they, the Souls games. Didn't they find a major. <laughs> A major bug that allow you to skip like every single boss in that game. Dark Souls Three. Yeah. Sure, yeah. but if you just want to enjoy the game and play it properly, why use it, right? Oh, uh, it's in response to his polished. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even if a game is super polished, you will still find bugs. That's true. No matter what game it is. I know they patched that since then. Oh, well, there you go, polished. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's good to note that Dark Souls has a $25 uh, season pass, which kind of surprises me because I had no idea. Uh, so I'm thinking know. everything is a season be, pass. Yeah, it's 2016. I'm I'm thinking it's gonna have two DLCs. Okay. Because 25 bucks, $12.50 per DLC pack. I think it's pretty much it. I mean, it's not the six DLCs of Final Fantasy 15, but hell, it's still it's still not bad. Oh well. And that was last week in gaming. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, you should go check out some more right over here. If you like the cap I'm wearing or you want to see what other TMS swag you can pick up, you should check out Manson's clothing down below. And last but not least, if you like free games, because everybody does, you should check out Gamers Giveaway down below and they give a free game away every single week. So check that out. Thanks for watching again. Have a great one, guys.